Sports camps, sleepovers, and family vacations make the summer a perfect time for head lice to thrive. But as kids gather together, don't scratch your head over lice. Stay calm with these tips from Jennifer Krause that will help you beat lice and avoid an itchy summer. Lice, just the word can make anyone's head feel itchy. Every year, according to an estimate from the CDC, between 6 and 12 million children get head lice. But as annoying as they are, they are not dangerous. Lice don't transmit any disease, but they can spread easily from person to person, and their bites can make the scalp itchy and irritated, and sometimes the scratching can lead to an infection. If a friend, relative, or your child's school or camp reports a head lice infestation, inspect your child right away. Look for tiny yellow or white-colored eggs or nits. Over-the-counter products like permethrin are unlikely to offer much relief because many to most lice are actually now resistant to those chemicals. And certain other prescription pesticide products like malthion and lindane can have concerning side effects. Some studies show that a non-pesticide ingredient, dimethicone, found in products such as Nix, Ultra, and LiceMD can kill lice by suffocating them. One of the best methods for many kids is combing out lice from wet hair, as long as your child's hair can tolerate that. If not, also likely effective are prescription topical spinosad, or Natroba, and over-the-counter topical ivermectin. For combing, you will need to shampoo, then use a lubricant like a conditioner or olive oil to make the hair easy to comb. Separate the hair into small sections, then comb the hair with the thin tooth metal comb concentrating on the area close to the scalp. The space in the metal comb has to be small enough for a single hair to go through, but not an egg. As you work, wipe the comb on a paper towel and inspect for lice. Keep combing until you no longer find any lice and then rinse the hair with water. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5.